and this. What's that? That's not anything. <laughs> Flour. No. No. Cookie. No. Cream cheese. No. Mascarpone is cream cheese. <laughs> What kind of cream cheese do you have now, Stags? A couple months old. That's almost there. Workout? Yes. Cornstarch. Cornstarch, lemon juice, egg whites and sugar are the only four natural stabilizer. Anything else as well? Cornstarch, lemon juice, egg whites and cornstarch. Brilliant. So when you want to make a fruit gelato, you don't use a cornstarch, you use lemon juice. I'll show you some fruit. I just wanted to put currant so it doesn't do that. Wow. <laughs> mm. No, for you, sir, all the cornstarch in the bowl. Then uh, 10 spoons of structure, let me test it. One of my colleagues made a beautiful joke two weeks ago. It's about sugar with sugar with salt. And then I made 16 chocolate, salty chocolate gelato. Oh. Yeah. It wasn't really, it wasn't really good. 10 spoons of sugar, oh, God. 2 spoons of cocoa. <laughs> yeah, you give me, yeah. <laughs> then don't do this at home, follow the recipe. There you go. What is the difference between ice cream and gelato? There's no ice cream. The difference is, think about the word. Think about the word. Ice cream. There's no cream. There's all In gelato, there is four parts of milk, one part of cream. In ice cream, there is one part of milk, one part of cream. Which means. <laughs> well, you've got a big spoon. <laughs> too big? No, it's too late. Too much <laughs> cocoa. <laughs> it's okay, it's okay. It will taste very chocolate. Jesus. Um, so, like, it means that like gelato is way more light yeah. than ice cream. Which means <clears throat> you can have more. Yeah, yeah. Good news. Where do we get more? Over here, we are warming up the liquid. It's very, very important because if the if you boil them, you will split the fat. And if you split the fat, we have to throw everything away. No pressure. And it's easy. So I mix it. As soon as it gets hot, we will melt the chocolate. About the chocolate, I have a bad news for you. Well, that's 10 years' time, chocolate will cost like truffle. Which means 15,000 euro for a kilo. Stop. Why? What happened? Because the consumption is way too high, the production is way too low. When I was in England, it was already fake chocolate. Tastes like, smell like, looks like, it's not. It's another thing, the chemical stuff. Over, even over here, it's a start to get quite expensive to buy chocolate. Ten years time will be very, very expensive. So I'll start to stop buying chocolate. Hmm. Wow. Mix it. Cody, it was like well, dark chocolate. It's it's already getting quite expensive. It's getting more expensive every year. It's like double scoops of cocoa in there, Mister. Oh, that's right. <laughs> Sorry, we're getting messy. Yeah, kick it up a notch. We all we all need flour. So don't do this when you're you have flour all over your leg. Oh, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Sorry. I don't mean to. So over here is getting warm. Let me move this away. Just think you've got two legs. So you said you like chocolate? Yes. No way. Here you go. Then, what's going to happen now? Do I want to use this? Makes it easier. What's going to happen now? The chocolate will melt and it will do its best to get stuck to the bottom of the pan and burn them to burn some gelato. That's why no one is looking at you. What kind of chocolate is that? This is why it's 55% cocoa. You can use any one that you want. And, and the cocoa that went in there? Is the unsweet one. 
So, what do you reckon I would do? Liquid in the dry or dry in the liquid? Dry in the liquid. Okay. Okay. Let's say liquid in the dry. Last time. Last time. Oh. Well, she's right. Always, always, always go for liquid in the dry. Why? If you put the dry in the liquid, they're going to make lumps, loads of lumps. And then you're going to lose the 15%, more or less, of the dry ingredients just to strain them off. There is no way to break the lumps then. Hmm. Always, doesn't matter what recipe you're following, you always go for liquid in the dry. I'm okay, it's very okay. I'm okay. I don't have any flour in there yet. Yet. Is it boiling? Let's see. It looks like it's boiling. Oh, please. You're supposed to, Cody. Showing us. Yeah, mix. He's a child. Oh, that smells delicious. Oh, yeah, it does. It smells so good. You know what it smells like? Hot chocolate. Hot chocolate. It smells like a fudge shot. If I can go into a fudge shot. Did, did, so he boils that with you? Yeah. No, you don't boil. Did, did that come to a boil? No, no, no. It'll separate the fat. No, he said that. So we cook the cornstarch. Make sure they turn it off. Cornstarch. So this is blend. We will put it back into the pan and cook the cornstarch. Is it blended? It looks like. Beautiful. Very good. Yeah, thank you. I see some so. Good job. It's fine. Start to stabilize everything and it will go to the bottom of the pan and burn. Low the temperature just to be safe. Yeah. All the liquid get added to that cornstarch at once? Yes. Uh, then there is two ways actually of making gelato. The old ways, which means as soon as we have cooked the cornstarch, we put it back in the bowl and then it goes in the fridge for an hour. Then we take it out and whisk it for 20 minutes. Then we put it back in the fridge for another hour. Then we take it out the whisk it for 20 minutes. Then we put it back in the fridge for another hour. Then we take it out the whisk it for 20 minutes. Then we put it back in the fridge for another hour. We take it out the whisk it for 20 minutes. Then, we'll the then you repeat the process for 17 times, oh more my God. or less. You cannot put it in the freezer, otherwise it throws down. Or you can have a machine. The machine makes you also in 40 minutes. Right. And a compressor inside, cool down the temperature, two spatula that will chill mix for you while you're enjoying a glass of wine, it's done. Okay? So, you might want to damage How much? I don't sell them, but for a commercial one, it will be around $200. That's it? It's not bad. Yeah. It's, it's more than this one, it's almost an industrial one. That's why it's, this one is a thousand euro. Um, yeah, but it works. Very good. If anything gets stuck, please, 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 please let me know. Yeah. If you feel anything that gets stuck to the bottom, tell me. Okay. <laughs> Otherwise, I'm not your last in the rear. 
that, that's it. There is nothing else to do. We cook it until we get the same thickness of a hot chocolate. But not the one that you get from Starbucks. That's way too liquid. You want a thick one. The one that you can actually eat with a spoon. Okay, a very, very thick one. So now I rise up the temperature so it seems more interesting. <laughs> Something getting stuck. Why you don't tell me? <laughs> I know from the way they used to live in steel, it doesn't get stuck. Yeah, yeah. yeah, there is a little bit, but it's completely fine. It's how cornstarch works. Cornstarch will get stuck to the bottom of the pan. You will do it, always. And you have to make sure that it doesn't burn. Otherwise, there's no Here you go. Don't stop. If you stop, it's over. <laughs> also remember that every hot, like every oven, they have the same problem. They have hot spots, even the electric one. So you will have the center really, really hot, and the outside of the pan is quite warm. So you always steer from the center to the outside of the pan. Yes? <laughs> inside the oven. Yeah, inside and then outside. And inside yeah, and then outside. So oh, same thing with the flavor. No, I think you did. It depends what flavor. If it was pistachio, I would do the same way. Just extract. Yeah. Say strawberry. Uh, I would use a strawberry puree, and I won't cook anything. You won't cook it. No. I would just use all everything raw, everything cold, and I put it into the machine straight away. And instead of the cornstarch, I would use lemon juice. Mm -hmm. It works in the same way. But then you have a little bit of the lemon flavor, which is actually nice. But if you use a cornstarch, if you cornstarch, if you don't cook it, it's very difficult to digest. There you are. <laughs> Why? Why do you use <laughs> Why do you hate your sister tells me? <laughs> then, if you want to come close to see how it looks, this is how it should look like. Most of the Good job, anyway. Oh, yeah. This is how it looks like. Okay, thick. It's a thick, hot chocolate. And smell-wise, that's the smell. That's the way it is. Yeah. And the more that I cook it, the more it gets thick. Oh, it smells so good. Yeah. So how long does that cook on top there for? Uh, so it's hot chocolate. It's thick. thick. No, no, no. Probably seven to eight minutes. Max ten. Ten minutes max. No more. Then, we turn it off. And we put it into the machine. And what kind of machine are we looking to buy? Uh, or an ice cream machine or a gelato machine. They are the same and they work in the same way. It doesn't do that in 40 minutes. So this is what the machine does. Turn next to you and also it cools down. Price for work. Oh, you get a prize. Look at my prize. Are you trying a piece, Mom? Yeah. Take a piece. I'll look over here. Now you sip your red wine. 50? No, it should be dark. 50%. Should be 55%. So it's almost milky. Very gentle. Yeah. If you know, what's very good? What's the gesture for very good? That means very good. 